Hi, this is Drew with Daniel's Ag Services with your morning report. Grain markets finished up mixed yesterday. You had beans and wheat trading higher while corn into the day lower. They're mixed so far this morning. Uh, got a little bit of profit taking pressure going on in the soybean market. Spent a little bit of yesterday down, actually closed only a half of a cent higher yesterday, uh, but it's getting pressured a little bit this morning. The Goldman roll is complete. Uh, that's moving from December contracts on, so that didn't really affect soybeans, but uh, that is complete. Uh, today is last trading day for November soy soybeans. Uh, there's been over a 1,000 deliveries during the delivery period so far. I think it's something like 1,215. Uh, deliveries so far. So a little different from earlier in the year when the cash market was so high over the futures market that we didn't really see many, if any, deliveries in the bean markets. So what a difference half a year can make. But moving forward, not a whole lot of fundamental news out today. Uh, export sales are delayed until tomorrow due to the Veterans Day holiday on Monday. So we don't have any export sales data to go over. We will tomorrow, however. Uh, Weather-wise, everything remains pretty good for the Midwest to, uh, to keep rolling on harvest. Uh, most of the Midwest is expected to be dry and with warming temperatures over the weekend. It's actually supposed to, I believe, get up into the 60s here in Chicago after having a, a low in the teens here recently. So that will be nice to get some warmer weather uh, before winter fully settles in. Uh, and then down in South America, things still remain favorable there as well, weather-wise. So it's really all we've got for today. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, have a great day. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by a Daniels Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Ag Services, its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors, such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore, investors should understand the risk involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the risk disclosure accessed at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.